Hi there, this video is going to go over some of the front end features of the Dallas Door Refinishing site. Up here at the top we have a call to action where people can sign up and subscribe by email uh, using a Sumo Me plugin that we added. All they have to do is enter in their email address and it automatically goes into MailChimp. Over here on the left hand side, you see we've installed a floating social media bar also using Sumo Me for this, which is a great way to encourage people to share content across the web. This is the basic menu for this site. We have our all of the basics that we would need uh, for a site like this, home testimonials, process, contact us. We have online booking as well. I'll go over that a little more in just a minute. Portfolio and then blog. So with this, we have our header image uh, and we've titled it. We've got our three call out buttons here. We have a call to action right here with uh, an optional form that, cu that uh, customers can fill out as well. We've gone ahead and put in a bunch of different testimonials as well as links so people can actually go to the testimonial itself on the different social media sites that these have been left on so that they can verify those. You can see here we have also put in the floating social media bar at the footer of each post, which is yet another way for people to share content. And we did this specifically under testimonials so that people would be inclined to share those things because that's great social proof. Down here at the bottom, we have another option for people to subscribe to the email list because your money is always in your email list. And what we've done is we've integrated this with the client's MailChimp as well. So what we're doing is we're taking all the blog posts and we're automating those into an RSS feed in MailChimp so that people are getting touched every single week. Down here at the bottom, we have a Google Maps plugin so people can easily find the office for this company, different ways to get in touch with this company, as well as all of their social media icons down here at the bottom. Of course, their copyright and then our uh, logo right there. So to go into this a little bit further, we'll look at testimonials. So you've got different testimonials here. And this is a plugin that we did on the back end that people can go in and actually review all of the company's testimonials in here. We have a page that outlines the company's process. Again, always call to action at the bottom. That is so vital. Contact us. This is a simple contact us form. It's a lot like what you saw on the front page, just in case somebody else wants to uh, utilize it on the contact page, they can do that. One thing that I'm really excited about is the opportunity for people to book appointments direct with the service provider uh, for their free estimate. So it's very, very simple to use. They can click on this and as we add more of his staff, they'll have other people that they can schedule with as well. They just click on a day, they click on a time, it shows the entire month. They put in their information right here so they can get their free um, appointment. We've synced this up with the client's Google Calendar, and then it will also, once a, once a customer comes in and schedules an appointment, we'll also sync up with their Google Calendar as well, so it's absolutely maximum efficiency. We've also got portfolios, so people can look and see some of you know the past work that this company has done. And then with the blog, what we've done is we've imported several different things. Uh, the client is actually also going to be blogging on his own, but we did use a tool called Autoblogger uh, and went ahead and imported a lot of different uh, home improvement blogs, which is really great because it, it gives us an opportunity to remarket to people who are likely looking for different home improvement options and upgrades and, and DIY projects. So we really have thought this out. There's a complete marketing strategy. I am going to walk you through the back end of this slide as well, but that's your uh, front end walkthrough.